So hi, it's very nice to meet you. Oh, my pleasure, pleasure meeting you too, Nairobi. So I wanted to share my personal experience with like um, not only my mental health, but also my physical health during that time when I was battling a vitamin D deficiency. It really felt like it was strictly just a depression thing. I was tired. I was sluggish, barely mm -hmm. getting out of bed at some moments. And then I had peaks of like just work, 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 and then crash. At the time, I was like sleeping. My eating schedule was all over the place. And I wasn't going outside because of COVID restrictions. But when I went to my doctor and talked to her about my concerns, mm -hmm. I was really surprised for her to come back and say like, yeah, you probably have a vitamin D deficiency. Let's start with some blood work first and foremost. I would highly recommend when you get your physical every year, if you're playing sports or if you're just doing a wellness checkup for back to school, that you do get that blood work done. And you always ask for a vitamin D level to be done because a lot of the times, the providers, uh, they may be looking at different things. Um, they may be looking at calcium. They may be, may be looking at iron and vitamin D kind of tends to get skirted in the background a bit. But let's kind of get more so into the mental side of this and the emotional side. That's what really shocked me. You know, the fact that I was just at a mental low and it was because of a physical problem. So like one of my questions was, can a vitamin D deficiency actually cause depression? And what does that look like on a person? There is evidence that supports that relationship that a low vitamin D levels can impact your mood. So here's the reason why. Vitamin D is really a, a precursor to a hormone and vitamin D is actually uh, linked with the production of serotonin. So serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is produced in the brain and it does a plethora of different things for the body. It helps with cognition and it also impacts your mood. So there have been a few studies that have been done and it has shown that when vitamin D levels are low, then serotonin levels are low as well. Then if that production is low, then the feeling of joy, the feeling of bliss is going to be low as well. So for someone who actually has a vitamin D deficiency, there's a whole gamut of different emotions that they may experience. Uh, some people may experience um, the inability to focus. Some people may experience a loss of appetite that even it impacts, you know, their favorite food. They're just not interested in eating their, the foods that they once liked. They may also experience physical pain, um, such as muscle aching and also bone pain as well, because vitamin D is needed for the bones. And they also can experience um, negative thoughts, negative ideologies that are surrounded with self-hate and guilt and, you know, just really a strong dislike of oneself. How do you maintain and continuously maintain throughout your life a healthy amount of vitamin D in your body? So I would say, you know, something that I always say is what we don't know can and will hurt us. So knowledge is definitely empowering and it puts the ball in our court so that we can make the changes that are needed. So I would say the first step for everyone is number one, get your blood work checked. Number two, start increasing your variety. Variety is the spice of life. Number three, focus on whole foods first. And then after you focus on the whole foods first, then you can include your snack foods of your chips, your cakes, your cookies, your pies, so forth and so on. Is there anything you think is important for young people to know just about a vitamin D deficiency and the importance of it, what to look out for? as a young person, as a teenager, where your body is going through so many different changes in such a short period of time, it's important to pay attention to how you're feeling. It's important to pay attention to your mental health. It's important to pay attention to, you know, how you're treating your body. What foods are you nourishing your body with? Because all of this honestly sets you up for overall health and wellness. 
you know, I like to tell people that, you know, we work the first 40 years of our lives trying to gain wealth and we sacrifice our health. And then the next 40 years, we give all our wealth to get back our health. So your health is your greatest asset right now as a young person. I loved all the tips you gave and I'm actually going to start like using some of them as well, just so I can make sure I'm maintaining all my vitamin D levels. And thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure being here. Thank you.